to another episode of New to Me. I'm Stephen Michael Zach, and today we are taking a look at the F and V. This is the K four thousand S power, but. Before we go into the review, uh, I do want to make a full disclaimer. Uh, I did not buy this. This was sent to me, uh, and it was actually sent to me by Philip Bloom, and it was part, and he teamed up with FNV as part as as part of his Movember campaign. Uh, one of you don't know who Philip Bloom is. He is an awesome uh, cinematographer and product reviewer, and he has great classes online. Uh, definitely go check him out. He is probably one of the major people you should be watching here on YouTube and pretty much anywhere else. Uh, I will leave the links to uh, all of his stuff in the notes below. And if you don't know what the Movember campaign is, the Movember campaign is um, basically um, an annual event where people in November grow mustaches to raise awareness for men's testicular cancer, prostate cancer, uh, men's health, and men's uh, suicide prevention. And that is an excellent um cause. So if you care to get involved, again, I will leave everything in the notes below. But I just want to thank Philip Bloom and I want to thank FNV for, uh, for the panel. And now let's get to the review. So this is their brand new panel now. It will run you about $630 on FNV's site. And yes, I know before you say it, um, <laughs> I do know that this is way above my $300 range. Uh, however, this panel, uh, I have it, I'm going to review it, and there's really not very many reviews online. So, let's just jump into it. First off, this thing will run you uh, anywhere between $550 to about $630, uh, so it is a very high-end panel. Um, everything, uh, that all the accoutrement that goes with this panel, you do have to buy separately. The barn doors, the the diffusion, the soft box, uh, the case, everything is a la carte here. And let's start off, first off, this thing has a TLCI of about 99 and a CRI about 97. It is 7200 lux at one meter, and it is a 90 watt power source, source which is awesome. Uh, that means you can get a very inexpensive V-mount battery, but we'll get into that. The beam angle is a 75 degree angle, so it is a flood panel. And this is also a 50-50 panel, which means uh, when you're at 5600 Kelvin or 3200 Kelvin, you're only using half the lights. Um, and they say that it doesn't lose any brightness. I've noticed that there is a little bit of brightness loss, but this thing is still incredibly bright even with half the bulb. So you're not really going to run into a problem there. And this thing is 5.1 pounds, so it is a heavier panel. So let's talk about the panel itself first off. It is made out of aluminum and plastic, mostly aluminum, which is awesome. Uh, the corner bits, if this thing falls and cracks, the corner bits can be replaced. It has, and this is, I have maybe three gripes with this, um, but they're so minuscule, school, it doesn't matter. Um, the front plate here is a very thin plastic and it does a rattle. Uh, so if you're gonna poor man like this, uh, use something else, cause this will make a lot of noise. Um, but it is an incredibly solid construction and the yoke is amazing. The yoke is solid metal. And one of the things I love about the yoke is, well, unscrew it here, and it holds its position. Uh, I've reviewed a lot of the GVM panels, and if you notice those GVM panels, uh, when you loosen them, they tend to flop around, and this is not gonna flop on you at all. It is going to hold its position, and then once you tighten it, it is not going to move. Um, so that is a great yoke. Uh, also, there is the bi-mount here, so you can either mount it this way or this way. Um, and one thing I noticed is that the uh, tightening knob does have a spring in it, uh, so you don't over tighten it, which is very, very cool. But with that being said, that's the front. Let's flip around to the back. And this is the part I'm very excited about. We'll get to this later. Uh, <laughs> first off, we have a very large on and off button, which is awesome. You can find this thing in the dark. Um, now the back is made of plastic, but all of them pretty much are. Um, you have incredible amounts of ventilation here, so you are not going to overheat. You have plastic buttons, but they are the most solid plastic buttons I've ever seen. Uh, they are just amazing. You have your brightness and your color temperature. And then you have a serial port. It is not VGA. Um, this is so you can attach a wire dimmer. 
and then you have the LCD screen. Uh, not the best LCD screen I've seen, but it is solid. It is big and readable. Um, the only, the, uh, this is the second gripe I have. You have to kind of turn your head like this to read it because uh, it is sideways, um, but not a big deal. And then there is a control pad, and on the control pad, you have the ability to jump from 5600 Kelvin to 3200 Kelvin with a press of a button. And now I did notice some flickering when you do that. Uh, the, the, the light kind of flickers up to it and then flickers down to it, uh, but it's very quick, goes away very fast. I don't think it's gonna be an issue because you're not gonna be changing color temperature while you're filming. And then the control pad itself, uh, there wasn't too much literature online and there was nothing in the instructions. Uh, not really sure what else this does. Maybe it's for the wire dimmer, I'm not really sure. So if you know what else this control pad does, um, if you wanna let me know in the notes below, that'd be awesome. Uh, Cause I really couldn't figure out, you know, it's couldn't figure out what, it, what, it, what else it does. Um, it didn't seem to be programmable or anything. Also, I do wanna talk about the LCD unit. Uh, this actually comes out and they do have a DMX controller that module that you can pop in here. And eventually I'm told they are going to have a Wi-Fi module with an antenna so you can control it with your phone, which I will definitely be buying because um, that is awesome. You know, <laughs> I love me some Wi-Fi. Uh, and then finally you have the V-mount battery. And my third gripe is you have this very plasticky release knob. So I'll probably just put uh, a V-mount pack on here and just leave it. But with that being said, you also get a eight foot cord, um, which is actually plugged into the wall right now. Um, now I wish that um, the cord were just a little bit longer. I wish it were 10 feet. Uh, so you, I do need an extension cord. And finally you have the ballast. And again, this is maybe another thing. The ballast is made of plastic. Don't drop it. It'll crack in half. Um, I mean, it's pretty solid plastic, but it's plastic. And normally with a ballast, you would have to hang it on your light stand and then a cord would go up here and then another cord would go to the wall or your power source and it just gets messy. Well, FNV have thought of that and they made this V-mountable, which is super awesome. Uh, now you don't have the mess on your light stand. It's on the back of your panel. And then once you get the Wi-Fi, you have no need to reach up and uh, and do anything because you'll have the Wi-Fi. Uh, it does include a three-prong plug and you do get a D-tap as well. And mounting this is very easy, like so, and then you plug it in and you are good to go. Okay, so I'm about to make the very large mistake of turning this thing on in my face. And as you can see, this thing, uh, this is 5600 Kelvin. Uh, you probably can't see it because I do shoot at, I am shooting at, uh, 3200 Kelvin on my camera, but this is incredibly bright. You can see the brightness, and I'm going to, uh, let's go ahead and change the, and you can see it does have a little bit of flicker, but I think it's just, it, the dial's real sensitive, and that is at 0%. So this does go from 100 to zero, which is awesome. Let's turn this back up to 100, and let's change the color temperature here. And as you can see in the middle, it is super bright. You could definitely see the fact that it is losing a little bit of brightness on either end, um, but it is fine. I'm gonna turn this away and not blind myself anymore. Uh, it is completely washing out my background, so it is very floodish. And let's go ahead and hit the quick buttons. And you can't really see it on camera, but it does flicker a little bit. Uh, in real life, but uh, it doesn't look like it's flickering on camera. So I think you're okay with the quick switches. So that's it. That is the FNV K4000S Power. This is their brand new panel and I absolutely love this thing. Uh, this is actually going to replace one of my GVMs in the studio. Um, <laughs> this one is not leaving the studio because it is a very expensive high-end panel and uh, it's all mine. Uh, <laughs> I'm only using it for my studio. So that's it, let me know what you thought. Let me know your thoughts, if you have any questions or anything like that. You can leave them in the notes below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell button to be notified when we post brand new videos. And once again, I wanna thank FNV and Philip Bloom for sending me the panel. I'm Stephen Michael Zach and this is new to me.